Hello everyone, I'm Mike Adamski and today we're going to be talking about how to apply slow motion to a video in Articulate Storyline, but we're going to be using an additional tool, in this case, Adobe Premiere Pro. So as you probably know, Articulate Storyline does not actually have a slow motion feature built into the software. So when you load in a video, it is what it is. However, you can use outside tools, and that's what we're going to be looking at today. We'll be talking about how to use Adobe Premiere Pro, but you can use other tools such as Windows Movie Maker. Uh, there's, there's plenty of others if you just did a simple Google search for that. So why would you need to adjust uh, slow motion or fast motion in a particular video? Well, there's a number of ways you might want to do that. Sometimes it's just for emphasis. Sometimes it's to draw out emotion. But sometimes, too, it's just down to very, very specific timing. And that's what we're going to be looking at in this particular exercise is that I need to take up a little bit more space than the video clip I have is going to allow. So as you can see here on the screen, we are looking at just a very, very standard kind of uh, sequence here. There's nothing too crazy going on here. We have a video clip that you can see in the background. We have a graphical overlay uh, as the narrator is reading this to the uh, student. So the problem is when I loaded in the video originally, it's this clip here. It was a little bit too long. By the way, a nice little trick. Make sure you click the show until end. Uncheck that or else it's going to stretch out your video uh, and just have it kind of sit as a blank slide or a blank uh, uh, still at the end. But basically when I loaded this video the first time, right, I put it in like this and it's, it's a great video. But what happens is you'll, you'll see that the video obviously stops way too early. Let me just play that. The basic principles of de-escalation training are calm yourself and take a deep breath as being upset will escalate the situation. Use a low, dull tone of voice. So Appear the video disappeared, even if right? You do not feel it. And of Keep course, that's not that what we want to happen. And so at the same time, I, you know, th these video clips are, they're not cheap, right? So trying to use as, as few video clips as possible. Um, but also for emphasis, because I don't really need two video clips for what's going on here. This is a, a very, very simple scene. It's also a scene that I'm just trying to show in the background because I want the students to, yes, take in the visual, but also just focus on the text and focus on the audio narration that they're hearing. So, well, what do we do? It's quite simple, actually. Now, again, you're going to need additional software, but I'm going to be using Adobe Premiere Pro here. And I just have a project that I've saved uh, just called Video Speed. And it's one that I just continually go to when I uh, have to, you guessed it, adjust the speed of a video. So I've already gone through and I've set up my sequence size and I've set up my export parameters. That's a completely different video. And again, there are, there are plenty of videos on the web that can help you setting up Premiere Pro. Because some people may not be using Premiere Pro in this, I'm not going to go over the details of Premiere Pro. We're just going to stick to getting this clip ready for Articulate Storyline. So again, what I do is I go in and I'm going to take that video clip and we're going to load that in and so drop it into my timeline and again just as going on in the assumption that you're familiar with Premiere Pro um, but again your software may be a little bit different in this case all I'm going to do so I need about let's see I'm going to need about 17 seconds of video right now it's only about nine and so if I want to get it to, yeah, it's probably going to be about 50%, right? If I lower that to 50, uh, it's going to put us at about 19 seconds or so, and that's fine. Um, so yeah, let's just go with that. And then what I'm going to do is just export this new video clip. It will not take long at all because it's only a 19 second clip. And then once that finishes, we can go back to Premiere Pro and we will just load that in. Okay, so now we just go in here. I'm just going to load in that new clip now. Actually, to avoid confusion, let's get rid of the, uh, the original one here. So we're going to load in this clip. And there it is. Now, same thing, I need to right click, uncheck that. And now the video is the actual length it is. I'm just going to drag it down to where I need it. So now you can see, obviously, it's a lot longer. It's actually longer than we even need. Now I can just trim that no problem. Now exactly the same scene, we can hit play and see how it looks now. 
The basic principles of de-escalation training are Calm yourself and take a deep breath, as being upset will escalate the situation. Use a low, dull tone of voice. Appear calm even if you do not feel it. Keep the individual at high level. So there you go. So again, very, very simple way of creating slow motion with inarticulate storyline. Again, the software itself isn't built for that specifically, so you do need an additional tool, but sometimes that's what instructional design calls for. So again, I hope this is helpful and that it shows you that it is possible and you don't need even Premiere Pro necessarily to do it. I know there are different pieces of software out there like Windows Movie Maker and things like that, and those are free. So um, it's nothing you need to spend a ton of money on. So um, again, I hope this is helpful. If you do have questions, please uh, leave a comment. I'll be happy to reply to those when I see them come in. And if it's something uh, that was helpful, helpful to you, give us a, a thumbs up and that would be awesome. So again, I'm Mike Adamski. Thanks for watching, everyone.